I don't know why, but I've been like hating my hair recently. Then I woke up and my hair looked like this. I was like, okay. Like, you can't tell me this isn't like perfect. Like, I don't know what it was. I was hating the color. I was hating the length. I was just hating it. It looked like gross and dead. But like, I'm looking in my mirror right now and I'm just like, hello. I don't know, I'm just really feeling myself this morning. And I've been working out for like over a month and I'm feeling pretty snatched. So it's just a good morning. But my room is a mess, so I'm gonna clean it. Just literally all of my crap everywhere. Should I talk while I do this or should I play music? All right, I think I need to jam. But then like content, I don't know. I'll hang for a bit. I have a bunch of clothes I've just been needing hanging, but I don't like hanging up things. So I just put them on the floor. So I'm gonna get some hangers. It's kind of funny because like I already need to do laundry again. I feel like I have to do laundry so much recently because I work out and I wear like my workout clothes. So I need to wash those. And I have like all my favorite workout clothes that I wanna wear. And then I wear the same Lululemon leggings because I only have one because they're expensive. Um, Like every day. So I have to wash those a lot. And I changed my outfit like 10 times a day. So, so recently I've just been kind of feeling like doing something maybe impulsive, but I guess it's not impulsive because I've been thinking about it for like a week. But I was thinking about maybe putting my nose ring back in, but I might just go to a place and ask them to like kind of re-pierce it. And I lost my nose ring, like the actual ring. So I have no way of putting it back in because I don't have one. And I feel like it's probably closed up a little bit. Maybe though, I don't know, because you can still see the hole. But I have like the perfect nose to where like, it doesn't look bad. I don't even know if you could see it. It's right there. Like I can see it in the mirror. Okay, see now this lighting look makes my hair look stupid. I think I just don't like this like golden color of blonde in my roots. Ugh. I think next time I get my hair done, I'm just gonna ask for like a blonde balayage so that it's less maintenance uh, for like the summer and stuff. But I also really wanna dye my hair black again. <laughs> Or brown. I think brown hair is just a mood because like it can be so healthy and I don't have to get it touched up or anything. You know, my natural hair color of what God gave me. Maybe I should just appreciate it. But also like, no, why be boring and when I can be Sydney? Okay, I need everyone's honest opinion here. Do I say my name weird? Like, does it sound like Sydney or does it sound like Cindy? Because everywhere I go, I'll be like, Sydney. And they're like, oh, Cindy. And I'm like, Sydney, like Australia, S Y D D Y. And they're like, oh, okay. Now I get to make the bed. This is like the worst bed making ever. If you know where that YouTube pillow came from, you're real OG. Okay, and then my cozy blanket. I love my bed set up with like the throw pillows and the like extra pillows that match the comforter. And then like this little blanket. I just feel like it makes it look like so like put together, it's like an adult bed. Like this is like the bed my parents had growing up. Probably not these colors or vibe. Like this is a little bit young for like parents, but like the whole blank, the extra blanket and like the matching pillows and everything. It makes it feel so put together. Today we're gonna do a little hair transformation. <laughs> So obviously, as you can probably tell by the title, I've decided to put my locks back in. Um, if you don't know anything about these, I'm basically gonna be putting them in and answering all of you guys' questions that you always have about these. It became pretty iconic, like 2019, summer 2019, I had them in for like three months and I was always getting questions about them and I've had them a couple times since then in a couple different colors. And my cousins actually own their own business, Woman Run by my cousin Ellie and her husband, but she started them so it's woman run <laughs> so if you want to support there'll be a link in the description please use my link it's an affiliate link their brand is called dreadful hippie and um i'm fake advocates so first i'm going to show you guys all the different dreads i have so my first original set was this brown and blonde it's kind of like a brondy look and then i did like a silver set which are these ones and then my most recent set was this iconic oh my gosh Wait, I literally have been looking for these for so long. These are my nail clippers. Uh, okay, well, I'm glad I found them and didn't stab myself while grabbing this. That is so funny. Okay, anyway, um, <laughs> my most recent set was this orange set when I had my bangs and it was half and half, like half partial dreads or however you want to call it. I had them in the bottom half and then kept the top half out and I had my bangs. Such a cute look, loved that look. So if you guys want to get some, link in the description. Anyway, I'm gonna put mine in and I have all these different colors and my hair is blonde right now. Um, Up top, it's like kind of a, it's like a faded blonde. It really needs touched up, but 
it's fine and then on the bottom it's a little bit more light kind of long story on why that happened but anyways I decided I'm gonna do this blonde because I feel like it'll just look really nice with that and then I also want to do the brown I was thinking about doing just like kind of like balayage vibes like that original look I had then I thought I'd be more fun and do half and half I'm kind of excited I've never put them in by myself also Ellie has always put them in for me so this is gonna take so long and you guys can hang out with me while I do it. And I will show you guys how to put them in and answer all your questions and all that. Welcome. <laughs> we both went like that at the same time. <laughs> Already struggling and I haven't even put one in yet. Okay, I think this is gonna be my method. Hair in my mouth. Okay, so as you can see while I'm doing this one, cause you guys always ask how I put them in, literally you just fold it in half and then braid it down one half of it and then the other half just hangs. Pretty simple. And this just shows you can do it by yourself. It'd probably go faster if other people do it to you or you all work together, but it's fine. Okay, first one is in. Well, not yet. All right, so first question. How many dreads do you need to buy for full head? So I'm looking literally on Dreadful Hippie website because they answer all these questions on there, but I didn't want to say the wrong thing. So for full head, nine to 12 packs. For partials, which is what I had last time, but I have a lot more hair, so I probably needed more. Uh, four to eight, and then for peekaboos, which is like a few hanging out, it's one to three. Okay, so there's a bunch of different styles. I have just like the standard, and then there's also like the skinny slash dainty ones, which is just like a little bit skinnier, if that's the look you wanna go for, like a mix of them. And then there's the Celtic straight and the Celtic curly. The Celtic curly has the brushed out ends waved, and then the Celtic straight is the brushed out ends, but straight. And you literally buy them once, and then they can last forever, unless you wanna get more colors. It doesn't have to be the color that matches your hair, but if you want it to, they have so many colors on the website, you're bound to find something that matches exactly what you want. And just whenever they start to grow out, like you feel like too much of your roots are showing or whatever, you can just take them out and put them back in. And you can just shampoo your hair as normal. So like you just put the shampoo at your roots and kind of like scrub it in there and then you just wash it out. So you can still wash your hair with the men. Please wash your hair with the men. And they're, they're like, they can last through anything. Like you can go camping, bonfires, whatever, and they're not gonna get destroyed. Someone asked how I deal with the hate or people saying culture appropriation. Um, so first of all, dreadlocks have made their way through pretty much every single culture for centuries. And there is not one culture that could claim to even start dreadlocks because it was in so many different cultures at a time for centuries and centuries. I mean, these have been used for spiritual purposes, religious purposes, or just for fashion or style, or even just to kind of like get your hair out of the way. And the truth is that every single person's hair will naturally lock up or matte if you don't brush it. My hair literally does this. If I don't brush it for probably like two weeks, it would start to kind of lock up. But dreadlocks is not just for one person with a specific culture or a specific skin color. Um, honestly, I'm not very good with words or explaining this. I could link some videos down below of a couple people who have dreadlocks and make YouTube channels about dreadlocks and they actually talk on this. And I think that would be way more beneficial than me just trying my best to explain. How much do they cost generally? So they are kind of expensive. Once again, you can check it out with the link in the description, but they do have payment plans on their website or you could save up for them or you could just buy a couple packs at a time while you're testing out if you like it or not. You can do like little peekaboos. Do they start to smell after a while? If you are shampooing your hair, they should not smell. It's just like if your normal hair would smell after a while, probably if you don't wash it. So definitely keep washing them. So after spending so long on my hair yesterday, I decided I don't really like the way the blonde looks. I don't know, it just throws me off because the brown, I feel like it just looks so much better. So I am going to redo it and do a different kind of pattern with the silver and the brown. So you guys can just watch me redo this and I'm gonna watch the originals. Do they ever get on your nerves? I assume that they're heavy and hot. Actually, no, they don't. I don't think they're itchy at all. I don't think they're hot and I don't think they're really much heavier than my hair normally is. I do have pretty thick, heavy hair in the first place. I actually find them really convenient when it starts to get hot outside because my hair is out of the way. And then honestly, one of my favorite things is to get my hair wet and then it kind of keeps my head cool throughout the day because the dreadlocks don't actually get wet since it's synthetic hair, it kind of repels the water, but my actual hair will stay wet. I don't know if this makes any sense, but no, they don't get hot and heavy. And then how do you, how do you sleep with them? I mean, just like you would with normal hair, you can put it up if you want in like a giant bun or what I like to do is wear like one of those really thick headbands that can like stretch out to be 
be more like a bandana and then I just cover basically my whole head with them and then put the dreads to the side. How long can you keep them in? Honestly, you could keep them in between like one and three months. It depends how fast your hair grows and all that because once it starts to get too far away from the root, then you probably will want to just take them out and braid them back in tighter to your root. How long am I planning on keeping them in? Actually, I'm probably going to keep them in for three to four weeks and then I'm going to go get my actual hair touched up, the blonde on my hair, and then I'm going to put them back in after my baptism. Out of all the times I've had my dreads in, this has honestly been my favorite so far. This is editing Sydney after like a week of having them in. Quick pause, I went to go get some pickles and I'm a little bit more into it so you can kind of see what I'm trying to do. I'm just kind of layering in the silver and the brown so it's almost more just like highlights. So I'll end up taking out a couple on this side and putting in a few silver because I only have one brown one left for the side of my head. So I should have just started with this, but I thought the half and half would be cool. I just didn't like that color blonde on me. I don't know. It's just not giving the vibes I was going for. And are they easy to take out and put in? It's just a little time consuming. It took me about three hours and I have pretty thick hair. So if you have thick or long hair, then it might take you a little bit longer. And you also might want a little bit more dreads to cover that full head. I use 12 packs in my head. So it honestly just depends. But if you're thinking about getting some dreadlock extensions, it's definitely the move because they're not permanent. It's not gonna damage your hair. Oh, that's the other question. Does it damage your hair? No, because this is a protective hairstyle. The little braids in your hair makes it protective. My cousin Ellie talks a lot about how her hair was super dry and damaged and wouldn't grow until she started wearing these. It starts to heal your hair because you're not putting any damage or heat or anything like that on it. So I hope that answered everyone's questions and let me know if you have any more in the comments down below. All right, I just finished and I think this looks so much better. I love this. I think I just really like the brown ones because they're so matured because um, I wore them for like months in the summer of 2018. I think I said it was 2019 earlier, but it was definitely 2018. Um, and then the silver ones in there for like some highlights, I think is so cute. I'm still trying to decide if I should put the bangs in or leave them out. Um, I think they need to be like cut at more of an angle. So I might try to do that um, or I'll just braid them into like this one right here. Me with just a jar of pickles in my hand, but I'm so obsessed with my hair. Okay, it's been a couple days of having my dreads in and I think it's a mood. I go back and forth with the bangs, but then I can just braid them and pin them back or braid them into one of these. So yeah, I actually really like it. I've been giving a lot of compliments. I had someone tell me your hair just looks like you, like it matches your personality. That made me so happy. But yeah, I'll probably keep them in for a little bit. I don't really know how long. I kind of want to get my hair touched up, maybe do like a balayage, not a, yeah, a balayage. With my hair so it grows out a little bit better and then put them back in. So yeah, I think they're gonna have a good cycle this summer. It's so nice not having to do my hair. But uh, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.